Well, after one year, this has got to be the lowest maintenance tank that I've had so far. I can't remember the last time that I had to do a water change and the fish and the plants are thriving. I feel like I've learned so much about black water systems just from building and observing this tank over this last year. Let's take a closer look. The peace lilies have been amazing to watch as the roots have grown into every corner of the tank down into the dirt substrate and back up again. They have bloomed consistently over the last several weeks and just really seem to love growing in this tank. But during the first few weeks after the build, I was battling root and crown rot. I had too many plants crammed into this planter, so I thinned out the group and that resolved the issue. Another thing that has amazed me is how quickly the leaf litter has broken down. I was constantly adding leaves for months and then decided that selecting a wider variety of botanicals would help create a more natural appearance and composition and that would last longer in the tank. So I have since added tree bark, acorn caps, sticks, and magnolia leaves, which are thicker, taking longer to break down and gives the fish an extra hiding place. They are also an excellent source of tannins which is essential to this black water system. The dwarf sage has done about as well as could be expected. I knew that it was not really going to get enough light to grow much more than this, but I still think it has been a worthwhile addition. I no longer have any floating plants. They just could not compete with the peace lilies. I did get a cutting of heartleaf philodendron started, but it is growing slowly. I made this DIY polycarbonate lid and customized it to fit around the peace lilies. Using these types of tank lids has been a more practical option for me than glass lids for growing riparian plants. They are easy to make and very cost effective. As I mentioned earlier, it's been several months since the last water change. Now I do top off the water level every few weeks, sometimes every week, with distilled water. I'm trying to avoid using my tap water because it has a high pH and I'm trying to recreate the Tetra's natural conditions as much as possible and let the water get more acidic over time if possible. However, the pH has been consistently neutral around 7, but I'm okay with that. I'm not going to force the pH lower than the tank wants it to go as long as the fish are healthy. I'm still using a hob filter with lava rock inside. I haven't messed with it, haven't cleaned it out or anything, and it's been a while since the intake pre-filter was cleaned. My philosophy on filters is as long as they are running normally, I don't worry about trying to clean them. It's really amazing how effective this tank's filter system is. I'm not just talking about the hob filter, but the whole filter system, which consists of the plants, the beneficial bacteria, and the substrate. And it all works together to break down waste and keep this water clean. So if I were to build this tank over again, what would I do differently? I don't think I would have used the egg crate planter in a tank this small. It just doesn't blend in as well as I thought it would. Now it does a great job of securing the peace lilies in place, but I think something like a coated wire to hang each plant uh, from the back of the tank, that would just blend in, be lo uh, lower profile, and would look more natural. Since I first set this tank up, my initial thought was, I need a bigger tank. <laughs> so that's the next step, a larger tank, probably this 29 gallon next to me and with more variety of blackwater Amazonian fish. I know that I want to add quarries. I think they would do great with all the leaf litter and the driftwood They have places to hide and hopefully breed. And I'm thinking maybe a topwater species also and probably will add more neon. If you haven't seen the build video for this tank, be sure to check it out now and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Well, thanks for watching. Until next time, remember, it's all about the plants.